With the release of the Code Talker Heat Soul and Ghost from the Past and the announcement of the new MatMag Circular, the MatMag deck will be incredibly strong in the next format. This is why I decided to bring you an in-depth guide on the deck. Do keep in mind that the deck is quite complicated and one video might not cover everything you need to know. But anyways, I'll divide the video into sections to keep it digestible for you guys. First we'll do card by card and if you already know what the cards do, feel free to skip around to the deck profile or the combo guide. First of all, let's talk about the new card, MatMag Circular, a level 4 light cyber monster with 1500 attack and 1500 defense. Its effect reads, you can send one Matmec monster from your deck to the graveyard except Matmec Circular, special summon this card from your hand. Also you can only attack with one monster for the rest of this turn. If another Matmec monster is normal or special summoned to your side of the field, you can add one Matmec spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Matmec Circular once per turn. It is a free special summon that can set up your graveyard and also it acts as a searcher for the deck which means that it's probably one of the most broken cards ever printed. It can be used generically in other decks but in this instance we'll be just focusing on Matmex. Next up we have his partner in crime, Matmex Sigma, level 4 light cyber stunner effect monster with 1000 attack and 1500 defense. And the following effect. If you control no monsters in the extra monster zone while this card is in your hand or graveyard you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except cybers monsters. You can only use this effect of Matmax Sigma once per turn. If this card in your control is used as synchro material for a Matmax monster, you can treat it as a non-tuner. This is probably the card that you will most often send off of your Matmax Circular. The fact that you can special summon this card from your graveyard gives you instant access to rank 4 plays or just link 2 plays. And because you'll be special summoning it while you control Matmax Circular, you'll get an additional search for a spell or trap. Next up, let's talk about Matmax Addition. It's a level 4 fire Cybers monster with 1000 attack and 1000 defense and a following effect. You can target one face up monster on the field. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Cybers monsters. Also special summon this card from your hand, but it cannot attack this turn. And if you do, the targeted monster gains 1000 attack until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Matmex Addition once per turn. This card, along Matmex Subtraction, is your free special summon. Matmex Subtraction basically has the same effect, but it lowers the attack instead of boosting it. This might be a good time to mention that all of your Matmex monsters are level 4. This means that you have extremely easy access to rank 4 plays and level 8 or level 12 synchro plays. Next up, let's talk about Matmex Diameter, a level 4 light cyber stunner monster with 1000 attack and 1500 defense. Its effect reads, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level 4 cybers monster in your graveyard, special summon it but it cannot activate its effects. A Matmex monster that was synchro or exceed summoned using this card on the field as materials gains the following effects. Once per turn, during the turn this card was special summoned when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect. You can negate that effect. You can only use each effect of Matmex Diameter once per turn. Not only does it have a good effect on normal summon, but it also gives your extra deck monsters bonus interruptions on the turn they are summoned. And because you will summon them on your opponent's turn, this card is super amazing. And finally for the monsters we have Matmex Nabla, level 4 dark cyber stunner monster with 1000 attack and 1500 defense. Its effect reads, you can tribute one cybers monster, special summon one Matmex monster from your deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one cybers monster you control in the extra monster zone, it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. You can only use each effect of Matt McNabla once per turn. This is basically a lone fire for the deck and it can tribute itself to special summon any of your Matt Max from the deck. The fact that it's a tuner is also extremely relevant because you can use Cybers Wicked to search it from your deck. The same thing also applies to Diameter and Sigma, but since Nabla can give you access to your other ones, this means that basically your entire deck is searchable by Cybers Wicked. There are also other main deck Matmec monsters that are relevant for the deck, but they are mostly used for OTKing, so I'm not gonna talk about them much here. Moving on to the trap cards, the most relevant one is Matmec Super Factorial, a normal trap card which reads Target up to 3 Matmec monsters in the graveyard with different names, then activate one of these effects. Special summon them, but their effects are negated. Then immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one Matmec synchro monsters using only those monsters, and shuffle the materials into the deck instead of sending them to the graveyard. And second, special summon them, but their effects are negated, then immediately after this effect resolves, exceed summon one Matmex exceeds monster using only those monsters. You can only activate one Matmex super factorial once per turn. 
This is the card that you will most often search with your Matmex Circular. You will set it to your field and then on your opponent's turn you can special summon 3 Matmex from the graveyard and most often than not you'll exceed summon with them. Because you will also use Diameter as a material that means that that exceeds monster will have a negation on it. And the monster that you most often want to exceed with this card is Prime Matmex Laplacian. It's a rank 4 Earth Cyber Succeeds monster with 2000 attack and 0 defense. It requires 3 level 4 monsters and it has a following effect. If a Matmex card you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. If this card is exceeds summoned, you can detach up to 3 materials from it, then choose that many effects. You cannot choose the same effect twice and resolve them in the listed order skipping any that were not chosen. First, send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Second, send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. And third, send one spell or trap your opponent controls to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of Prime Matmex Laplacian once per turn. If you exceed summon this using 3 of your Matmex from the graveyard, which you will, you will basically have a Trishula effect, but instead of banishing cards you will send them to the graveyard. This is insanely good non-targeting removal and it will also have an Omni negate to boot. Next up let's talk about Prime Matmex Alimbersion. It's an Earth Cyber Succeeds monster with 2000 attack and 0 defense. It requires 2 or more level 4 monsters and it has the following effect. You can tribute one monster, special summon one level 4 Matmex monster from your hand or graveyard. If this card is exceeds summoned, you can detach 2 to 4 materials from this card and activate the appropriate effect. If you detach 2, you can add one Matmex card from your deck to your hand. If you detach 3, you can add one level 4 monster from your deck to your hand. And if you detach 4, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Prime Matmex Alimbersion once per turn. So basically this card can search your entire deck and on top of that you can tribute it to special summon a Matmex from your hand or graveyard. You could also tribute other monsters but after you detach from it it's pretty much useless. Being able to search a great variety of cards is insanely good for the deck so you should definitely play it. And the final Matmex monster we're gonna be talking about is Geo Matmex Final Sigma. It's a level 12 fire cyber synchro monster with 3000 attack and 0 defense. It requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. Its effect is that it's unaffected by card effects except Matmex cards, while in the extra monster zone. If this card in the extra monster zone battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Matmex card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Geo Matmex Final Sigma once per turn. So basically it's a big unaffected towers monster, which also deals double damage when it battles against an opponent's monster. It is relatively easy to make it and it's really hard to out, so you should probably run at least one of them. That's it for the relevant Matmex cards, but let's really quickly talk about the other cards that are not Matmex and are relevant in the deck. For instance we have Balancer Lord, a level 4 light cybers monster with 1700 attack and 1200 defense. Its effect reads, once per turn you can pay 1000 life points, during your main phase this turn you can normal summon one cybers monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. If this card is banished you can special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand. You can only use each effect of balancer lord once per turn. So not only is this card a level 4 that you can use for your exes and synchro plays but it also gives you an extra normal summon and when it's banished and you will banish it most probably you will get to special summon an additional card from your hand. You should almost definitely run 3 of these in your Matmex decks. Next up might be a little bit of a controversial pick but I think Microcoder is extremely good in Matmex. It's a level 1 dark cybers monster with 300 attack and 0 defense. Its effect reads that if a cybers monster you control would be used as link material for a code talker monster, this card in your hand can also be used as material. If this card is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard as material for a link summon of a code talker monster, you can either add one signed spell or trap from your deck to the hand or if this card on the field was used as material you can add one level 4 cybers monster instead. You can only use each effect of microcoder once per turn. So first of all if you use it for a link 1 from the field you can search any of your matmec monsters. Secondly if you use it from the hand you can add your signet spells or traps which are pretty good. Some of the good options include signet mining which searches you any of your matmecs, signet crosswipe that can destroy a card on the field by tributing a cybers monster, signet codec which is an incredibly good card in code talkers and I also believe that it's worth experimenting with in matmecs but we're not gonna do that here. But one of the strongest cards you can add is Signet Conflict. It's a counter trap which reads, 
When a spell or trap card or a monster effect is activated while you control a code talker monster, negate the activation and if you do, banish that card. And if you do, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same original name as that card that was banished, until the end of the next turn. You can only activate one signed conflict once per turn. So basically this card is a solemn judgment that banishes your opponent's cards and it prevents them from using it until the end of the next turn. The fact that this card is searchable and that it synergizes so well with the soon to be released Deco Talker Heat Soul makes it a really worthwhile consideration for the deck. Speaking of, Deco Talker Heat Soul is a Link 3 Fire Cybers monster with 2300 attack. It requires two or more Cybers monsters with different attributes and has a following effect. It gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. Quick effect, you can pay 1000 life points, draw one card, then if your life points are 2000 or less, you can banish this card from the field and if you do special summon one link tree or lower cybers monster from your extra deck except the code talker heat soul. You can only use this effect of the code talker heat soul once per turn. Basically you go into this then you get an additional draw and then you get an extra draw on your opponent's turn. And also it makes your signed conflict light, so it's insanely good to have in the matmec deck. Without further ado, let's get into the deck list. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider doing the following combo. Chainlink 1 like button, Chainlink 2 subscribe. Back to the video we go! Okay, so here we are with the deck list and boy this is a pile. This deck is very reminiscent of Shrybury Gaze, just a tad bit more consistent, which just feels incredibly weird to say honestly. The end board goal with this deck would be to go into your heat soul so you can have double draws, uh, followed up with signed conflict which is basically a solemn judgment and the matmex super factorial with three matmex in the graveyard which would be your trishula on your opponent's turn. And that trishula will have an omni negate as well which is just insane to say. Uh, for a hand trap lineup we have triple ash, triple veiler, triple ogre and triple impermanence. This is just good going first and going second and also it's a good top deck off of your heat soul. Uh, for our monsters we have triple balancer lord, triple lady debug, double addition and double subtraction, this is just a free extension. Uh, with lady debug we are exclusively searching microcoders, so if you feel like you want to put anything inside uh, besides this engine feel free to. Uh, one circular, double diameter, we are only playing double diameter because it's extremely searchable and we almost always have it as a follow-up place so it's fine to have as a two of uh, one Nabla, this is just because uh, in some weird hands we might have uh, only two Matmex to play around with, so one Nabla could just get us into whatever we want, and uh, we then have three to use for Super Factorial. Double Sigma, I just couldn't find room for the third one. Triple Microcoder, this is pretty important because this is the only way to get to your conflict, so basically Debug and Microcoder and Signet Mining gets you to your conflict. Triple Parallax Seed, uh, this is pretty decent because uh, it's two level 4s that we can use to basically search any of the other cards. Uh, for instance, if we get two Parallax Seeds we can go into Alembertian, then we can search any of the Metmex. Or if we have one Metmex and uh, double Parallax Seed we can go uh, and search for our Lady Debug, so that's pretty neat. And yep, that's it for the main deck. Uh, in the extra deck we have one final Sigma, this is definitely non-mandatory, but I think it's a really cool card, so I wanted to try it out in the deck. This is basically your flex spot if you want to play something else. Uh, double Alembertian, I feel double is kinda needed if you go into the grind game, but honestly with this deck it's mostly make or break. Uh, one Laplacian, I don't think you need more than one because we are only playing one super factorial. You could consider playing doubles because uh, when going second then in the grind game you could actually use the second copy but yeah it's fine because you can just OTK with access code talker. For our access code talker package we have uh, one access code, one trans code and one update jammer. This is the pretty standard thing that you do in Salaman Great and other cybers deck. Uh, for our code talker engines we have code talker inverted that uh, we are summoning by using microcoder mo more often than not. The Code Talker Heat Soul, one of the more broken cards that's coming out from Ghost from the Past. Uh, one Cybers Wicked, we almost always go into this one uh, just in order to search a follow-up for the next turn. Uh, then we are running one IP Mascarena and one Avramax. Uh, this also isn't mandatory, but it's just a win more 
uh, combo honestly that you can go into one uh, Lingaribo. This helps you play around uh, impermanence and other traps when you're going second and uh, one Link Spider just to play around Nibiru. Basically you can link away the Nibiru token, go into Link Spider and then continue playing from there on out. Uh, one Splash Mage just because it's a free extension and that's about it. As for the extra deck, these are some suggestions that you guys might want to include in your deck. You could run Link Disciple and Link Devotee which has been a staple of the Matmec deck for a long while but I feel like uh, with the code talker hits all this engine is basically been replaced. Signed backdoor is pretty neat. Signed codec could be nice because we are running the code talker inverted uh, and hit soul and with code talker inverted we could search our diameter and circular and with the hit soul we could search our uh, subtraction and addition and we could al also go into transcode talker to add gachiri and then summon something big and unaffected but uh, this is the simplest list that you can make with this deck. Uh, also, Sinet Crosswipe could be a decent replacement for Sinet Conflict because it's a good card going first and going second, but I feel like um, the the Conflict is just such a great counter trap that you just have to play it. And honestly, Matmec uh, Equation would be a pretty neat card to have in the deck as a second target because if you just hard draw the Super Factorial, uh, Circular gets to search you nothing in this deck, so you could play like equation as a 41st card or just replace any of these with it just to have an extra extension. Without further ado, let's get into the combos. This is the most basic combo involving Matmex Circular. Uh, what you would do here is use the effect of Circular uh, by sending the Sigma to the graveyard. Then you can use the effect of Sigma special summoning it to the field and then you can use the effect of Circular to search your trap card. From there on out you can exceed with these two to go into your Allen version and then detach two in order to search for your diameter. Upon normal summoning diameter you can revive literally anything from the graveyard and with these two you can link them away into your Cyber Swicket. Uh, this is just to get extra follow-ups for the next turn. We can use the effect of Allen version tributing it to bring back again literally anything and then we can use the effect of Cyber Swicket banishing the Allen version in order to search for a tuner. Here you can go for diameter or now I feel like the diameter is just a better follow-up and then from here on out you can link these away into your heat soul. Then you can use the effect of heat soul to draw an additional card and then uh, you will set your super factori factorial. I'll ignore this card for now. This is just uh, whatever we drew. And then on our opponent's turn we can bring back these three in order to go into our Trishula like effect which is our Laplacian and with Laplacian we can send card from their hand to the graveyard, a monster from their field to the graveyard and a spell or trap from their field to the graveyard and also because uh, we used the diameter as Xyz material we get an Omni Negate too. And we can use the effect of Heat Soul paying 1000 to draw an additional card which in this case is infinite impermanence and it would be better uh, if it was a card that we could use but oh well. I'm uh, moving on to the next combo. Okay so let's say we have circular and literally any extender. This is probably uh, one of the worst ones but let's say we just open this. Uh, we'll start the same by special summoning circular by uh, pitching the sigma. Then we'll special summon the sigma using the effect of circular. We'll again pick up the trap card. Then uh, we'll use the effect of addition in this instance special summoning it. And then we'll overlay all of those into Allen Bershan. With the effect of Allen Bershan, we can now detach three cards in order to search for our Lady Debug. Then we can normal summon the Lady Debug and using the effect of Lady Debug we can search a microcoder. From here on out we can link away the Lady Debug in order to go into Lingaribo and then we can uh, use the effect of microcoder linking with it and Allen Bershan to go into our Code Talker Inverted. Now if we had an additional monster we could special summon it to a zone that uh, Code Talker points to here but we do not so we'll use the effect of microcoder in order to search for our counter trap. So now we have uh, Trish an Omni Negate here and uh, basically a Solemn Judgment. Uh, from here on out we can just link these two away to go into our Heat Soul and then we can use the effect of Heat Soul drawing an additional card and then on our opponent's turn we'll draw yet again an additional card. So moving on to the next one. So what happens if you don't open your circular? It's pretty much fine, you just need the double level 4. So let's say we have Balancer Lord and Lady Debug. Uh, we'll normal summon the Balancer using its effect, we'll get an additional normal for, for Lady Debug. We'll use the effect of Lady Debug and with it we can search a microcoder then uh, it's pretty simple from there we can exceed summon into our Allen version then using the effect of Allen version we'll add our circular this part of the combo is pretty much the same you'll special summon the circular by sending the Sigma then you can special summon 
on the Sigma and then use the effect of Circular in order to get your trap card. Then you can uh, link these two away and Sigma unfortunately gets banished here. So you link these two into your uh, Cyber Swicket. And then from here on out you can use the effect of Alan Burshan, tributing it to go into your uh, Circular. Then you can use the effect of Cyber Swicket here banishing the Balancer Lord in order to search for your uh, Nabla. Now the reason we are searching Nabla here is because we only have one Matmech in the graveyard that's a level 4, so we need two more and that's why Nabla is a pretty good card here. Uh, then because Balancer Lord was banished we can use its effect to special summon the Nabla. And then from here on out we can tribute the Nabla to go into our diameter. This way we can uh, get the Omni Negate as well. From here on out we can link these two away to make our Code Talker inverted. And then we can use the effect of Microcoder linking with it and uh, the Code Talker inverted to go into our Heat Soul. So, uh, when we go into the Heat Soul we can use the effect of Microcoder to get our Counter Trap. And the board is pretty much the same as before. Also we get the double draws from Heat Soul on our turn and on, on our opponent's turn but the important part with this board here is that uh, when we go and summon uh, our three matmex we can exceed summon into the zone of cyber swicked and because we are doing that uh, we can use the effect of cyber swicked in order to banish yet another card from the graveyard to add an additional tuner from our deck to the hand so basically with just uh, two cards we have three in hand four on field uh, we trished our opponent, we have double Omni Negates and we are pretty much winning this for sure because on our own turn we'll top deck for turn and then we can yet again use the effect of Heat Soul to draw an additional card. Uh, moving on to the next one I guess. So let's say we have just a circular and a microcoder uh, and our opponent has a Nibiru and honestly you don't have to have a microcoder here but I just want to show you what you do if you do have it. If you don't have it it's pretty much the same thing just one less negation. So we'll, we'll start the same using the effect of circular, we'll send the sigma, we'll special summon the sigma, you know the drill, using the effect of circular. Uh, we'll pick up the trap, this is two summons. Now we'll overlay for our Alembertian, this is three. We'll use the effect of Alembertian, searching the diameter, then we'll normal summon the diameter and using the effect of diameter we'll bring back literally anything. And this is five summons. So, our opponent can Nibiru us here and we get a token. So, let's say they do that, we get a big token here. I mean, it's not extremely big, but yeah. Uh, we'll link away the token and go into a Link Spider. Then with this, uh, we'll use the effect of Microcoder, linking away with Link Spider to go into our Code Talker Inverted. From here on out, we can use the effect of Microcoder and with the Microcoder, we'll pick up the Counter Trap. Because we have a Code Talker inverted, we have an Omni Negate and we also have a Trishula yet again. Uh, and if we did not have the Microcoder, it still would have been fine because we still have the Trishula with the Omni Negate, but we just don't have the Counter Trap. Well, that's it for this video, but if you would like to see the insane story of how I duped everyone with the Mystic Mind support, please check out this video. I'll see you there. Bye!